Hey, welcome to Storymakers on Kid Lit TV. I'm Rocco Steno, and today we're going to be talking about lifeguards with our guest, Elizabeth Doyle Carey. Welcome. Thanks for having me. You know a lot about uh, lifeguards because you've written four books about them. Yes, I have, but actually I've never been a lifeguard. I did some research. I've been around lifeguards a lot, but um, I actually had to go to the library and do a little research. I had to go to the beach and watch lifeguards. Oh, you had to go to the beach and watch. I had to watch, watch the cute lifeguards, uh, the watch. nice strong girls saving people. But it's not exactly about lifeguards, it's about no. junior lifeguards. That's right. There are junior lifeguards all over the U.S. Many beaches have programs. They're either statewide or just the town sponsor them. And the idea is to get kids started from a young age, even as young as eight, I think they can start. And you just start training and learning, you know, the physical demands. It's a very physically demanding job, but they teach the kids different techniques for life saving. And as they get older, eventually the idea and the hope is that they will go and be lifeguards for the town because it's basically a recruiting process. This happens in most uh, beach communities around the country and, yes. and in our 50th state, Hawaii, too, yes. where they really have popular. lots of beaches. Yeah. If you stick with the program, the older you get, you can get decent, you know, jobs at first at pools and then you can get really good paying jobs um, working on beaches. And then there's also fun aspects to it, like they have national competitions or regional competitions and then national competitions you can participate in and um, you travel for them and you meet other lifeguards. It's a really great culture. The interesting thing about the Junior Lifeguard series is that four books came out pretty close uh, this past summer, like one, uh, one a month. The first one was The Test and then Oscar Season. Yes. And then Shark Bait last fireworks. Tell us about your junior lifeguard. The main characters are four girls um, and each of these four books focuses on a different one of these girls and then there are secondary characters that you get to know across the series as well and there are going to be more books coming out in the series so hopefully you know people will find their favorites and, and read their way through the series but this book focuses on Jenna, Jenna Bowers. She is on the swim team. She's the star of the town swim team in their town in Cape Cod. Um, but like a lot of kids sports these days, there's a lot of pressure. It's very time consuming. There's a lot of demands. And so she thinks maybe it would be nice just to do something a little more fun for the summer. So she gets into junior lifeguards and wants to try out and convinces all her friends to do it with her. Oscar season. It's about Selena, Selena Diaz. And she is one of Jenna's best friends. And she has no interest in being a junior lifeguard, but Jenna convinces Selena to do it. Selena wants to be an actress and she wants to go to a fancy acting camp, but her parents can't afford it. And so they say, you know, why don't you try this? It's, it's convenient, it's healthy, go for it. And so she tries out. And so in the second book, it talks about how Selena uses her skills, her singing, um, to help motivate people in the program with their training and things like that while they're going through boot camp. A lifeguard boot camp. And the other interesting thing about uh, Selena is that uh, she is a, an immigrant. Yes. Her family uh, comes from Ecuador? Yes. She grew up, um, she was about five, I think, when she moved to the U.S. And her parents both are very ambitious. So they've taken a job, um, they take care of a big estate of a very fancy billionaire family who comes to town for two weeks every year. And the father looks after the grounds, but he also on the side has his own landscaping business that he's growing. And then her mom looks after the family, does cooking and cleaning at the house, but she also is um, going to school at night to become a CPA. Oh, really? Uh, that's an accountant, yeah, yes. in case you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they're very ambitious, and Selena's ambitious too, but she's not a great student, so there's a, some friction. She has to do tutoring in the summer, and um, she's not so psyched about that. Followed by shark bait. So shark bait mm. focuses on Piper. Piper's um, parents are divorced and they've both left Cape Cod for their jobs. She never sees her dad. She sees her mom rarely, unfortunately, but she lives with her grandmother, Bet, who's really cool, and she owns a horse farm. And usually Piper works in the horse farm, mucking out stables and, and looking after the horses. But um, this summer, Bet surprises her and says, you know, you got to do something else. You can't just, she feels that, that Piper's kind of hiding out in the barn and not really facing real life. So she says, you've got to go do something else. So Jenna convinces her to try out for junior lifeguards. She's not a huge swimmer. She's very nervous about sharks. She's very, um, she's just had a growth spurt and she's insecure about being in front of people in her bathing suit. So she always wants to cover up and that's kind of a detriment if mm -hmm. you need to be a quick acting lifeguard to have layers on. Um, so that's what shark bait's about and her, her gaining confidence. And the last one of the original four is fireworks. So this one's about Ziggy Bloom and she is, I think what you would call a hippie. Um, she's crunchy. She's 
back to the earth. She likes to protect the environment. She works on the beach um, picking up garbage and looking after piping plovers, mm -hmm. which are nesting birds that are endangered. And um, in this book, it's the 4th of July, and every year the, the lifeguards have a celebration around the town fireworks, but it conflicts with protecting the plovers. So Ziggy gets kind of caught in the middle, and it, this is about ha what happens, the story. After these books were released, you went on the road to talk about yes. them. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I was really lucky. I went out with Vineyard Vines, which is... And that's why I have my Vineyard Vines yes. outfit here. So do I. And yes. they are... A, clothing retailer. Um, they make upscale, kind of vacation-oriented clothing, I would say. Right. Um, their, their theme is every day should feel this good. The clothes are comfortable. They're really bright and colorful. They're just happy clothes. You feel happy when I feel happy when I'm wearing them. And um, I think that a lot of kids like them. They, I went and did book sales at all their stores. I partnered with local bookstores. And you played on their theme. Yeah, their theme is every day should feel this good. Right. The idea being it's a vaca right. like a vacation. Yeah. My theme was every book tour should feel this good because they were so nice to me. And they had everywhere I went, they had food and snacks and, and these little and awesome those little, uh, life preserver keychain giveaways that right. were so cute. They had big jars of them for me to give away. One of your future books, uh, there's the National uh, Junior Lifeguard Competition. Uh, competition. Yes. And uh, we have something that we want uh, our viewers to do. And what's yes. that? Well, I am looking for people to nominate a great beach to set the Junior Lifeguard Competition on. So if you love a beach or you live near a beach where you think the, the fictional Junior Lifeguard National Competition should be held, I would love it if you would let me know about it. Um, I think the best way to do it is if you could please just upload a photo to my website. Uh, the website is www.elizabethdoylecary.com. You went to the library to do research and, and you kind of studied lifeguards. So you probably learned some lifeguarding skills. You know, uh, I uh, worked at a camp and I was a counselor. I was not the lifeguard and everyone always wanted to be a lifeguard. And I guess I still sort of want to be a, uh, a lifeguard. So what are some of the things uh, you can tell me about? Some of the things I should know. Some of the things I think you should know are you have to be pretty fit. Mm -hmm. You seem fit. Oh, you could do that. You. I mean, you have to be able to yes. swim. Yes, I could swim. Um, although, interestingly, even in, in real, in the books, this is true, but also in real life, um, they can train you to swim. And one of the things, the program director in, in my books, um, his name is Bud Slater, and mm -hmm. he's kind of a great teacher and mentor. And what he says is he can teach anyone to swim and how to be a lifeguard. He can't teach a great attitude. So if you just bring a good attitude, I think pretty much any lifeguarding coach is willing to, to train you. Um, and so it's about getting conditioned, getting fit, working on your swimming skills. Um, there are other little things like you don't wear goggles. You don't wear goggles. No. no. So we would not be able to wear these. Should I put them on? Yes. Why not? We would not be able to wear these. Because if you wear goggles. If you wear goggles, you're a pulley. When I visit the beach, I see lifeguards every once in a while stand up and make a hand signal. That's right. There are a few different ones. Can you show me some of them? Yes. So let's pretend that you're out in the water and you are outside of my designated swimming okay. area. I would stand up on my lifeguard stand, blow my whistle like yeah. that, and they will say like this, or if you're out to the other side, move back over into the area. And then I go like this and I go. Yes. Another one is, um, one thing that I see kids that like to do is chicken fights. Do you know mm -hmm. what chicken fights are? It's where kids get on uh, each other's shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, right. and yes. then they wrestle right. to see right. who they can knock off. So a lifeguard would say, <whistles> like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't behaving, if mm -hmm. you kept chicken fighting and you yeah. kept swimming out of the yeah. area, it's my right as a lifeguard to say this. There are some hazards in being a lifeguard, and I guess one is the uh, sun. Yes, a lot of lifeguarding stations will have an umbrella over the lifeguard chair, and um, that helps protect the lifeguards, but you really have to be careful. You have to stay really hydrated, and you can only do short shifts before, you know, I think it's maybe 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. They rotate you in and out, so you keep your attention, but really important is sunscreen. Mm -hmm. And you really can't wear, any clothes besides your bathing suit because you have to be ready to jump in the water at any given moment. So it's really important to use sunscreen so that you don't get skin damage, skin cancer. And you brought some. They make some really fun sunscreens now. So this, this stuff's called Zinca. 
No. I, I don't know if you know this, but it comes in every color, all really? neon colors, super fun. And you can get different colors and, and put war paint on your face. Really? You want me to do it? Yeah, why not? Let's, right. and I'll try some too. Okay. So I'm gonna just put a little here. Oh, it's very bright, Rocco. Are you ready? It's gonna I go great am, with your yes. outfit. Mix it around, soften it up. So it's zinc, it's pure blockage. Can I put this on my lips? Yes. Oh. You can put it anywhere. Okay, well, that's fun. There's going to be other Junior Lifeguard uh, books yes. uh, coming out. Yes, there are two more coming out for next summer. And then we're also looking at doing some that take place in the off season. So the girls aren't actually lifeguarding. They're keeping up their training and um, just le leading their lives because they have a lot going on just besides lifeguarding. I just want to uh, mention that besides writing lifeguard books, yes. you are one of the uh, writers, uh, authors of the Cupcake Diaries. There are how many right. Cupcake Diary I'm books? I'm writing book 31 right now. You have a book that's being reissued by Little Brown and it's called the Callahan Cousins, and this is a summer book also. Yeah. That was originally published by Little Brown. It's being reissued by Dune Mere Books, mm -hmm. and it's a series of four books about um, four 12-year-old cousins spending the summer at their grandmother's house on an island. Nice. So there's lots of beaches in that too. And thank you for bringing this gift here. The uh, Another uh, piece of equipment that right. lifeguards use yeah. is a life preserver. That looks good on you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yes, well, why don't you uh, try that too? How do I look? Framed. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. So remember, until next time, give a kid a book in any format. <laughs>